Listen, maybe you knew about some of these and maybe you don't. But in this video right here, we're going to check out the last photos of incredible animals that are already extinct. All right. Maybe you find a new found love and appreciation for some of these animals. All right. So if you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Let's check this out. Over the course of Earth's history, more than 99.9% .9 of all species that have ever existed have become extinct. It is estimated that up to 50 billion species that once wow. roamed our globe disappeared from the terrestrial stage some time ago. But wow. is it really true in all cases? In fact, there are always people who claim to have seen animals that shouldn't even exist anymore. In today's video, you can find out what these unique reports are all about and which fascinating creatures, unfortunately, no longer belong to the natural face of the planet. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most shocking animals we've ever captured a photo of. Pterosaurs Is it a contemporary forgery, a modern fake, or is it proof that the mighty primeval lizards are still among us? A photo has been circulating on the internet for some time, showing us some American Civil War soldiers together with a killed pteranodon. The problem, the imposing pterosaurs have actually been extinct for 72 million years. There is no question that the dino in the pictures actually looks the way modern reconstruction shows us. If this really is a forgery from that time, the people pulling the strings would have done a great job, even though they probably didn't even know what the pterodactyl actually looked like. The first scientific description of the pterodon dates back to 1876. The military conflict between the northern and southern states raged again from 1861 to 1865. Another shot shows us how some men pose with another winged lizard. Allegedly created in 1890, the so-called Thunderbird is said to have appeared in a small village in Arizona and been shot. What? Thylacine. What they had back then that was taking out something as massive as that bird? And then you got to be a bold joker to stand there and watch that thing because it's probably, once it see you, probably coming at you to stand out there and shoot it down. Whew. Sign. Whether it's the mighty saltwater crocodile, the mighty venomous island taipan, or the deadly Sydney funnel web spider, Australia's biodiversity is as frightening as it is impressive. However, given the myriad of creatures that roam down under, we should not forget that some animals disappeared from Australia over time, including the thylacine. The last living specimen of the largest predatory marsupials died in 1936. Since then, the thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger, has been considered extinct. The animals which were around 60 centimeters high and weighed 19 kilograms presumably mainly hunted small kangaroos, possums, and rodents. The thylacine was once the largest marsupial to roam the earth, having lived around 4 million years ago up until the early 1900s. The last living thylacine was captured in 1933 near Tasmania and the species has never been seen since. These animals were known to be shy and nocturnal with an appearance like a dog. However, these animals also had characteristics of a kangaroo as they had abdominal pouches and Whoa. stiffened tails. The closest relative of a thylacine is believed to be a Tasmanian devil or a numbat. It is assumed that these- Every time I look at this thing though, it looks like it's hungry. It looks like, I just, I just wanna feed it. The animals died off after dogs took over their natural habitats and humans began to hunt them. The most interesting facts about these animals is that we have video footage of them from 1911, 1928, and 1933. This footage was filmed at various zoos before the animals died off completely. The thylacine certainly appears to have behaved very similarly to a dog, even though the two species are not related. Resurrecting the species has been posed by many scientists, considering that the Tasmanian devil is so genetically similar. However, no successful efforts have been made. Until the beginning of the 19th century, the thylacine was still widespread in Tasmania. You heard what he said? No successful efforts have been made. So they're trying, which is scary. And, and who knows? We still may have one. 
It's probably somebody in their backyard last night that swear they thought they saw one of these out by his trash can or something, knocking over his cans and eating out of his cans. He probably seen something just like this. Could be still alive. We don't know. I don't think we need to be out here trying to recreate or reconstruct DNA and try to bring something back. However, uh -huh. after sheep were introduced to Australia, the predators soon gained a reputation as bloodthirsty beasts. Wrongly so, modern 3D simulations show that Thylazine's jaws Mouth were actually too weak to tear jaw. down sheep. The animals that died back when they were probably due to feral dogs. However, since people knew nothing about these backgrounds, the thylazine was systematically hunted down and eventually exterminated. Attempts to save the species in the zoo were unsuccessful. In all that time, there was only one litter in captivity. Nevertheless, isolated sightings of the thylazine are still reported today. However, these cannot be proven unequivocally. In March 2017, two separate sightings in northern Queensland made headlines. And who knows, maybe some of these fascinating animals actually managed to defy the merciless hunt of humans. Java Tiger. Jaw like that. The Java Tiger is one of the longest extinct creatures on our planet and is the subspecies of the tiger. He got his name from the Indonesian island of Java, on which he once had his home. Male Java tigers could be over 2 meters tall and weigh up to 140 kilograms, while female specimens were considerably smaller. Also, the Java tiger's paws were larger than those of other tiger species, indicating its enormous size. In most cases, mountainous and forested regions were the perfect habitats for the Java tiger, and the southeastern coast was also very heavily populated by them. When hunting in the wild, wild boar, deer, and bantig were often the prey of the tiger. After the population of Indonesia continued to grow, all habitats of the Java tiger were destroyed, so that over time it was pushed back and hardly any large habitats were available. So eventually it went extinct. Tarpon the tarpon belongs to the horse species. More specifically, it has been proven that it was a mixture of Western European wild horses and today's domestic horse. Many people observed them on expeditions through Eastern Europe in the 18th century. Above all, the large head, pointed ears, gray fur, and a very bushy mane, as well as the light coloring of the belly, indicated a tarpon. In part, the appearance was also reminiscent of that of a classic donkey. As you can hardly imagine today, the tarpon roamed in large female herds led by stallions. Strict mm. care was taken to ensure that no young male horses approached the group. The tarpon's diet was bales of hay found on local farms and gardens while roaming around. In addition, the tarpon lived in steppe and forest areas of what was then Eurasia. But there were also herds that could be found at higher altitudes and looked for food there. The advantage here was that the wind, even in snowy areas on the summit, ensured that the meadows were free and the tarpon therefore had enough food. Wow. Barbary Lion Native to North Africa, the Barbary lion is one of the largest modern sub- Some of these names, like not the sub, not, not lion, but the Barbary lion, I've never even heard of some of this stuff. Species of the imposing mane, weighing up to 250 kilos, it was precisely that striking mane that gave the hunter his unmistakable appearance. The dark colored hair stretched far over the shoulders, falling down the stomach like a kind of curtain. In fact, the animals were already used in the arenas of the ancient Romans, where they had to fight bloodthirsty battles against the Caspian tiger, which was also extinct. After the population in North Africa had already been dramatically reduced in the 18th and 19th centuries, the targeted eradication policy led to the final extinction of the Barbary tiger. The last official representative in the wild was to be shot in Morocco in 1920. Currently, some big cats in zoos are still identified as Barbary lions. But how pure the ancestry of these animals really is, is more than questionable. However, since the big cats were still seen as extinct decades after they were officially categorized and sometimes even shot, we could be dealing with the so-called Romeo error. In a nod to Shakespeare's classic Romeo and Juliet, premature classification overrode protections, yeah. eventually leading to the subspecies' virtual disappearance. 
Pinta giant tortoise. Finally, we also have the Pinta giant tortoise for you to introduce. Does the name Lonesome George mean anything to you? This was the last living specimen of the Pinta giant tortoise, which died in 2012. More than 300,000 giant tortoises once lived in the Galapagos Islands. However, by the 19th century, the population declined sharply after whalers and pirates hunted the turtle species for food. How long do tortoises live? Like on average, average lifespan we're speaking. Looking at some of these photos, they look like they can get up there in age. <laughs> you, you see what I was seeing? It just made me think, like, how old can they get up to? Food. Some of the turtles could live up to 100 years and weigh up to nine. That's crazy. I answered the question. Right, that's freaky. Uh, ah, that's freaky. I don't like that. 90 kilograms. The high and thick shell of this was very robust 100. and arched so that the turtles could be seen from afar. A hundred. Wow. North African Hartebeest. Hartebeest. African Hartebeest is the extinct nominate form of the Hartebeest, with a tail up to 70 centimeters and a weight of up to 225 kilograms. It lived in the northern countries of Africa, such as Morocco, Libya, and Egypt, until the 19th century. For the Egyptians, it had a mythological meaning and was therefore very special as an animal, which is why horns of the North African Hartebeest were also found in Abadeh grave. She once lived in large herds, feeding on leaves, bark, and grass. Another special feature was that it could usually only be seen at cooler temperatures. She mostly refrained from hyenas or cheetahs, as they were her natural enemies. Japanese Sea Lion Furthermore, the Japanese sea lion is also extinct today. It lived near the coast of the Japan Sea in Korea, Japan, and generally in the Far East, where it is usually dark gray to dark brown to a total of 2.5 meters. It mostly reproduced on flat and sandy stretches of coast, where it was more and more eradicated by fishermen years later. Also, starting in the 19th century, the Japanese sea lion, which was also referred to as the Pacific Eared Seal, has a rather narrow face, soft light-colored whiskers, and large dark eyes. With its two lateral fins together with the hind fin, locomotion was possible at that time, which was also very uncomplicated in the water when hunting for fish and food. The soft and slightly fur-like thin skin allowed water to roll off the sides and dry quickly after each dive. Caspian Tiger the Caspian Tiger is one of the largest living cats in the world and is closely related to the Siberian Tiger. Its fur features narrow and fairly closely spaced stripes that were unmistakable in the wild, but at the same time still bear similarities to tigers in modern times. With its long belly and strong whiskers, it is very easy to recognize among other species. He wants yeah, how much like, how you look in proportion to a human, fam. Look, look. Uh, I went past it, I think. Belly and strong whiskers. It is very. Like, bro. Now, it quick to add the strength to that. How strong they were. Are. <laughs> are. These tigers today are still strong. That's why I don't understand people having them as like pets. They could just be playing around with us and just hit us and give us a concussion or even take us up out of here. Like, look at them. They're still beautiful animals, though. It's dangerous. Very easy to recognize among other species. He Dangerous. once lived in the southwest of the Caucasus Mountains, as well as in Central Asia and Turkmenia. There they hunted his prey and looked out for wild boar and deer. Other mammals were not safe from the Caspian Tiger either, as it hunted a variety of animals to survive. However, when it came to the Russian colonization in Turkestan, the Caspian Tiger was gradually exterminated and persecuted. In addition, disasters such as fire and plague caused the entire species to become extinct. The Tacopa Pupfish Next, we introduce you to the Tacopa pupfish, which is an extinct species of Nevada desert fish. Measuring a lot of these fish probably extinct because of humans. <laughs> 1.5 centimeters. Even goldfish. I'm scared for goldfish. Not many goldfish people don't went out and bought and didn't properly take care of, or you won some at a, uh, some fish at a fair and bought a good month. What happened? Y'all know what happened. You having to clean out the cage and explain to the little kid what happened to the fish as you flush it down the toilet. 
meters in size, the predominantly blue and purple shimmering fish with its scales was at home in salty ponds, primarily the Tacopa Hot Springs, which had hot water up to 35 degrees centigrade. A little far from the direct source belonged to the habitat of the Tacopa fish. The fish mostly fed on blue-green algae, which also had their home in the springs. Within a year, you could expect up to 10 new generations of the fish to be born in terms of reproduction. So you're probably wondering how the fish went extinct after giving birth to such large numbers of offspring. However, from 1940, the springs were canalized and bathhouses built, so that the springs became even warmer and the fish species were increasingly deprived of their habitat and could no longer survive in it. The Syrian Half Donkey Another extinct species is the Syrian half donkey. According to the name, this comes mainly from areas such as Syria, Palestine, and Iraq, and at the time had a light gray and pink coloring of the fur, which, however, tended towards gray with increasing age. The animal's ears were also dark gray at first and also turned to almost white hue with age. It is assumed that the Syrian donkey had many natural predators, such as lions, leopards, and wolves, which is why it fought very often for survival. However, when it was pushed back by Turkish, Bedouin, and British troops during the First World War, it died out more and more. Today we find many similar species of donkeys in zoos, but there is no longer a Syrian donkey to be found among them. Mm. The Eastern Puma the eastern puma has also been extinct since around 1938. The fascinating animal was once native to the eastern part of North America, where after many years it was also added to the endangered species list. The eastern cougar was particularly common in the area between the mouth of Rio Tocantins in the north and the mouth of the Rio de la Plata in the south. Because of its size, the puma had few natural enemies. Today, it is more likely that humans wiped out the puma by hunting it and deprived it of its natural habitat. Eastern cougars often fell humans. victims to farmers, in particular, who wanted to protect their own animals. Even today, the puma is still described as a very shy cat that mostly avoids and flees from humans. What do you think about the presented animals and their sad fates? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on our post in the comments below. Would you like- I feel like I gotta shake one of those grandma fingers at you. Like, us humans, we gotta do better, man. We're a reason why some of these animals are extinct. We gotta do better. You know what I mean? <laughs> they can one day join together and turn on us, man. Now, for some of these other ones, I don't think they they- they went extinct. I think they possibly just evolved. You know what I mean? They still, you know, we had different types of lions and different types of tigers. So I don't know, maybe just that. It's kind of like a last name. Certain names you don't hear anymore, but that was the thing of the past when, when maybe you were little, you heard those last names a lot. It's probably something you could think about. You know what I mean? I hear right now everybody whose name Karen is trying to get their name not to be Karen anymore. But um, y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what y'all thought of this video. And stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.